Prime Minister Peter O'Neill was asked last week about the government's arrangements with Nautilus Minerals following arbitration in Australia. He said there were issues with the arbitration itself as two parties are needed to agree to go into arbitration in the first place. The state has never agreed for that. One employee of the state made the decision by himself. There's no NEC decision, there's no approval from the government that we have a dispute so you go into arbitration. He said the decision made by the tribunal in Australia is now being reviewed. Mr O'Neill said that the decision was biased and feels that the state can discuss directly with Nautilus to overcome the issues. A few months ago, Nautilus gave a presentation of its operations at a media briefing following a series of negative publicity. They pointed out that no chemicals will be used in the extraction process. The deposits will be piped up and undergo a dewatering process, and after filtering, processed clean water will be piped back to the seafloor. Our Environmental Act outlines the processes, the procedures for investors to follow. In that sense, our Environmental Act is fairly transparent. <coughs> We've designed the system so that it has no impact on those fish stocks and will have no impact on those, those reefs. But Mr O'Neill maintains that the issues of environmental impact, capacity to deliver and equipment to be used need to be examined. Our aim is to reduce our participation in that particular project. Uh, that project is unproven. It has never been done anywhere else in the world. Mm. He said there are legal issues surrounding the 118 million kina awarded, which the lawyers are now looking at. He said the state feels it is not liable for such damage and the government is not prepared to pay for it yet until a constructive dialogue with Nautilus. Delibagu, National MTV News.